win at home to Mansfield. What result that is? Yeah, great performance, great result. Um, much needed. Settles everybody down, I think, a little bit. But no, I was really pleased with the, with the effort of the, of the whole squad. I think a few gave the, the team a chance coming into the game. How does that make everyone feel when you come into a game and people admit you off already? I think we've been used to that this season. But I think people forget our home form. It's really good. You know, we, we lost to Notts County here last time, should have won. But before that, we'd won four or five straight games. So uh, that's another one. Um, we always fancied our, our chances of getting a result, a point or three. Um, when we had to compete, we had to fight against a real physical outfit, big players, a lot of quality. But, um, I was really pleased that we did really well. You said before the game that we've performed well against some of the big teams in this league, but we haven't quite got the results. How important and how nice is it to, to come out of a decent performance and a result? Yeah, it's key that we, we show our teeth and we can, we can compete against the the really big clubs in this league. We went to Notts County and were, were 1-0 up after 97 minutes and drew 1-1. Um, and, and that's today is, is the first time we've beaten one of the top three or four. And, um, it should give us confidence for the last seven games. That's has become your routine now. You watched the first half from up in the boardroom. What did you make of that? And what was, what was the message at half-time to turn it around? The, at this point of the season, both teams are, are chasing points for, for different reasons. You know, Mansfield to get promoted us to stay in the league in our, in our maiden season and it's going to be tight it's going to be a tense affair nobody's given or taken you know an inch so you you have to make sure that you stay in the game and not out of it and sometimes difficult to play really free flowing open attractive football in a game like that and you, sometimes it has to be the last 20 minutes when you've done the hard work that you get chance to play and that's what happened today it was a critical part of the game that five minutes before half time when backs were against the wall and we managed to see it out. yeah we're hanging on I think you were sat near me and I was I was worried in the last five minutes that we were conceding too much territory, we were losing too many balls in the middle of the pitch and, and it was imperative that we got, got in nil-nil so we could sort of reorganise the team. The energy in the second half was, was really clear to see and two goals that were taken really well by players in form at the moment. That's it, it was important. The message was to keep switching the ball. We needed our midfield players to get the ball wide and keep switching the play so we could manoeuvre the ball into Ruben Reid and Tav Campbell which is sort of where most of the, the opportunities came from today. And obviously got two two games coming up this weekend now, Barnet this evening, Chesterfield tomorrow. Can you always relax watching those? A little bit. A little, a little bit. I'm gonna enjoy watching Barnet in a minute and um, obviously Notts County tomorrow. And then Easter weekend, two games over the space of four days. A result like this is key going into that, isn't it? It is, but we we've got to we've got to kick on, we've got to go and get another result from somewhere and uh, the sooner the better. And the key is no complacency, I suppose. No, can't can't be from anybody. Players, staff, fans, we have to stay on it. Everybody behind the team and, and kick on.